of Iran to make a statement. Alors la séance continue et je demande à Monsieur le délégué de l'Iran de bien vouloir nous faire une déclaration. Mr. President and honorable members of the Council, I consider it an honor to be invited to the Council table. It is, I assure you, with emotion that I take my seat before the highest tribunal on earth wherein lie the hopes and aspirations of mankind. I wish you success in your arduous labors for the restoration of harmony and security and respect for international law in a distracted world. Iran firmly believes in the principles underlying the Charter and means steadfastly to abide by them. She has faith in the United Nations and desires to the utmost of her ability to strengthen its hands. She confidently expects, on the other hand, to have her rights upheld by the Council. Our case is now before you, and we want it to remain there until a just settlement has been reached within the spirit of the Charter. I realize that the question of whether to proceed at once or to delay is a matter for the Council to decide. For my part, I am prepared, pursuant to my instructions, to proceed with the presentation of the disputes which unfortunately have divided my country and its northern neighbor. I consider it necessary to do so at the earliest opportunity. Of course, I am not unaware of the press news of the last few days, reporting the withdrawal of the Red Army from certain localities of Iran. And yesterday we heard the same announcement made by the Honorable Delegate of the Soviet Union. Nor am I unaware of the press news of this morning, reporting an official announcement by my government, denying that the contemplated evacuation of troops had resulted from any agreement entered into between the Iranian government and the Soviet Union. I do not know whether any conditions are being attached to the withdrawal of these troops, and may I say once for all that I know of no agreement or understanding, secret or otherwise, having been entered into between my government and the Soviet Union with respect to any of the matters involved in the disputes now referred to this council. No one would welcome more warmly than I a just settlement of our difficulties on the basis of respect for Iran's complete independence, sovereignty, and territorial integrity. The Prime Minister of Iran has in his instructions to me particularly requested me to emphasize the point of view that the bringing of a dispute by one member of the United Nations before the Security Council should not be interpreted by the other party as an inimical act. We are members of the same family, and this is a sort of family council where we can freely air our troubles and reach satisfactory solutions. The delegate of the Soviet Union bases his proposal for delay first on alleged surprise, and second, on the contention that negotiations pursuant to the resolution of January 30th are 